Hi. So I won't talk about the rains. A lot of us have already spoken about it. Let's get into some more interesting conversations. Uh, yeah, recipe for human and digital collaboration. Food, it has to be for us Indians, right? Because if we are not talking about what we ate, we are talking about what we are going to eat, what we plan to cook, or what our relatives ate in 1972. So this makes sense. So <clears throat> the best way to help you understand a collaboration, I thought because it's a recipe, right? I would like to show you a picture. Uh, OK, it's right here. I think uh, the jury is still out on can it be called a vegetarian or vegetable biryani. Uh, but I thought to help you understand what a collaboration looks like, that's what it is. It's a biryani, right? It's a mix of ingredients. Uh, the masalas has to be right. Uh, you have to take your time to cook it. And most importantly, if any one of us who have cooked biryani, uh, there has to be some jugad. So I thought this is the best picture that could help us get more deeper into the whole aspect of human and digital collaboration. When I'm saying digital collaboration in today's times, right, technology plays a big role in digital. And the buzzword, of course, AI. So a lot of my mentions out here would be the aspect of AI and how to use it right. So uh, let's, in this collaboration, ingredient number one, humans, right? We are like the masala dabba. We are like sweet, spicy, uh, sometimes sour. And we, have, we also have ingredients which is past its expiry date. But we are still going to use it. We won't tell anyone for sure. Our emotions swing like the stock market. One moment we are calm and composed. Next moment we are saying Vodafone, why no network? So that's what we have got to work with, our emotions. And <clears throat> when brands, for example, in this case, I would pick up Microsoft, they launched an AI chatbot. Now, what they wanted to do was uh, an AI chatbot which could engage with you on Twitter. It could be a fun banter. And while it is engaging, it's evolving. It's learning from all the conversations that's happening on Twitter. And it's kind of growing with that data. What happened is you got a racist troll because now it's known as X, but Twitter, most of the time people are ranting. So all the data that was picked up by AI was all this conversation was all people were ranting and cribbing and complaining or dissing other people. So that's the data it got. And this chatbot was a complete racist troll which Microsoft had to pull down. That's what happens when we don't try to understand how humans would behave. We're so caught up in technology or building those kind of technology, we kind of miss the whole human aspect. Then comes the aspect of technology, right? It's like a pressure cooker because we are talking about food and recipes. So it's like a pressure cooker. And if we have ever kind of handled a pressure cooker, we know it's fast, it's efficient. But one wrong move and bam, the dal is on the kitchen walls, painted all across. Technology is like that relative who comes to your house and tells you 100 Mbps speed. Or in America, we get one Gbps, and that too in every room. So it kind of somewhere tries to egg you into doing things which you won't even want to do. So Amazon. Right? So they wanted to improve their recruitment process. So they built a whole aspect of AI into their recruitment tool. Now, that's a great idea because they wanted unbiased information from artificial intelligence so that they could make the right hires. What happened is that uh, it was fed on 20 years data, this chatbot. Uh, or this tool, sorry, this artificial intelligence tool, what happened is it was 
only suggesting male candidates. Because all the data that it got for the past 10 years, they saw that maximum uh, applications that came from candidates were men. So it decided that uh, it would have to be a male candidate. So any mention of women's chess team or women's basketball team, and it would cancel out that. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not even doing this. That was a pressure cooker, by the way. This is, so <clears throat> that's how it goes. Uh, all of the creatives that you see is made by AI. I didn't take any effort in creating it because I thought it's the right way to do it because we are talking about human and digital collaboration. This is the best way, this whole PPT, except for what I'm saying, that's me. But rest, all the visuals is done by AI. So uh, when you, so there's two ingredients, like human and technology. When you mix this both, right, uh, what happens? I'll give you a good example. It's like making chai with soya milk. Sounds fancy, but nobody knows what they are doing and how it will turn out, right? Uh, human and digital collaboration, one more example I would like to give, which is very common now, especially after COVID, it's the online meetings, video conferencing, right? Most of the times it's like a wildlife documentary. Some on screen frozen like a deer caught in headlights. Some audio is switched on, it's echoing, sounds like a peacock is mating. And again, someone's unmuted and you can hear him snoring or maybe he's making pakodas, so you're confused. So tech also messes up, and big time. So we are all, uh, a lot of marketeers here, we talk about performance, we talk, talk about reaching the right audience. So Facebook targeting, again, they built in an AI into the whole targeting tool, and it got so brilliant that it could get cohorts or particular groups, uh, diverse groups. The only problem was, and an agency tried to investigate and they realized that they could even target hate groups. One of the popular hate groups was hate Jews. So it went that bad. So again, now when I try to make this creative, I try to uh, add an AI if I can put hate Jews or I could put any hate groups mentioned, the AI didn't allow me to do it. So yes, uh, it is the intelligence is getting better because humans are putting that control over it. Now, uh, as I mentioned uh, about biryani, uh, if you have to make the right biryani, you have to know some jugaad. And we Indians are super good at you know, doing jugaads, right? We can fix anything. If you don't have a remote, you maybe use a spoon, right? If you don't, your Wi-Fi is down, you can definitely use your neighbor's uh, Wi-Fi, you know their son's name because you saw his name on the toppers list of SSE, so you can definitely use that as a password and it will work most of the time. And we are so good at Jugaad, like even in adverse situations, right? Uh, maybe we are on a team call and we have got five tabs open and only one tab is about work. We are still super good at closing all those tabs and opening up your PPT like a champion and the boss is really impressed. So, uh, Jugaad, uh, we would like to think it's an Indian term and it's, it only happens in India, but this is global too. Take the example of Burger King ad. So, Burger King did a very smart Jugaad. What they did is they ran TV commercials and uh, they called out to your Google homes. So, in the TV commercial, it would someone would mention, okay, Google, uh, what is a Whopper? Now, uh, go, if we have Google Homes, you'll know it gets triggered the moment someone says that. And did get triggered and works fantastic. Till the time, again, some humans who are good at Jugaad, they went and changed the ingredients of Burger King on the Wikipedia page. Too. So, one of the key ingredients was rat meat. So, that's a challenge. Again, they had to call it down. 
they pull it down because you couldn't do much about it. So I would say uh, it's not human or tech. It's, it's, it, it needs a mix, a good mix of both. Otherwise, you'll just end up with a khichdi which no one ordered. So it has to be a collaboration. It has to be collaboration like a thali. That's it, the thali image, yeah. It has to be like a thali. Now in a thali, you have the alu gobi, which is very reliable but boring. That's tech. And you also have human. It's like achar, spicy, but most of the times unpredictable how it will turn out. So, if I have to put in one more metaphor, it would be like making chai, right? So, you use the right ingredients to make a chai. Sugar, tea leaves, and you be patient throughout the journey. If you rush it up, it turns bitter. But if you take some time and add the right amount of ginger, we all know it's going to be magical the way it works. So I would say it's not man versus machine. It's chai pe charcha with your laptop plugged in. So that's all I had to say. But I thought if I'm going to come here and do the speech, I would like to give you guys an example of uh, human and digital or technology or AI collaboration. I thought I will do it live. If all of you guys are up for it, I would take five minutes. Is that a yes, no, yes? Okay, let's try to do this. What I want is uh, maybe two or three uh, dishes. If you can name two or three dishes, I'm going to note it down and I'm going to create something out of it. Uh, definitely not some food item. Yeah, I wish I could do that with technology, but I wouldn't be able to. So, uh, can someone help me, please? Those are lovely. Good one. What else would it be? Sorry? Pani Puri. Oh, I heard Pani Puri, then I heard power. Like, food gets us all excited for sure. Uh, Pani Puri, then what else? Any, one more, guys. Come on. Pizza. Pizza. Okay, lovely. So, uh, I'll take around five minutes, but trust me, guys, it will be worth the wait. I'll be working out here. Just five minutes. I'll dish out something really good for you guys. If you guys want to announce something in between, if, if people are getting bored or something. By the way, we all marketeers here, right? We spoke about the food items, but what about a brand? Any brand that comes to your mind? Sorry? Pretamanjo. Pretamanjo is like something like that, right? I'm still confused with the pronunciation. Can we pick up an Indian brand? I think it would be more fun. I'm so sorry. MTR Masala. Uh, which one were you saying? Amul. A-M-U-L, right? Okay. That would get more interesting, I think. Closers on the table, right? Pani pour, spiced up tight. Pizza slice with cheese delight. Amul's magic in each bite. Butter spread and just so fine. Milk that's pure in every line. Creamy bliss you can't deny Amul's taste will make you fly Amul love and dosa tree Pani puri can't be beat Pizza top so warm and sweet With Amul life's complete Freshness in each glass of milk Soft as butter, smooth as silk Healthy snacks that fit your bill Amul gives you Thank you guys, I hope you got the song It's words given by you guys uh, it just took me five minutes Thank you <laughs>